Hello there, and welcome to this video tutorial on the new View 10 Ecosystems Phasing feature. I'm going to walk you through a simple exercise which will demonstrate this cool new animation capability. We start by loading in a View Bamboo plant and creating a short plant animation with four keyframes that sway the plant back and forth using the individual plant wind controls. Then we open the animation toolbox and make it a looping animation by selecting the repeat animation option. Next, we save the plant as a view object, which will save the plant along with the animation that we just created. Now let's create a simple terrain to use as the base for our animated ecosystem. In the material editor, we set the material as an ecosystem and then load in our previously created bamboo object. We set the maximum instance rotation to zero degrees so that all of the instances remain aligned and then we populate the ecosystem. Now let's create a short 10 second animation. Open the timeline, set the animation length, and render. You can see that the animation doesn't look very realistic, and here is where ecophasing comes to the rescue. We go back into the ecosystem material editor, and under the animation tab, we are going to use a variable time offset. The offset will be driven by a function. In this case, we will load in a gradient map to create a wind wave effect. We then set the time offset range which indicates how often in seconds each instance phase loop will begin. Set the number of variations to 60, which means that there are up to 60 possible variations each instance can have per frame. Now, repopulate the ecosystem and re-render. Notice how much more natural looking the animation appears. You can use the ecosystem animation phasing to achieve a variety of natural looking movements. Here's an excellent example of an underwater foliage scene. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this tutorial and happy viewing.